So you chose to play pawn to f4 in this position. Now, I do admire your spirit by playing this move pawn to f4, and I think even Tao would be a little bit impressed with this move pawn to f4. You're moving forwards, you're going straight for the centre, but unfortunately this is still the incorrect answer here. Because the problem with this move is that black can simply reply, e takes f4, and okay, this is much stronger than taken on d4 because black does win a pawn here, and the only logical continuation here for white would be kingside castling, no pawn break works in the centre because this queen is lined up against your king. So, for example, if white now continues with castling kingside, black can just play the simple knight to g6 here, attacking the bishop on f4 and the pawn on f4. And after knight to g6, white has to really play something like bishop to f2, and now black has time to castle. Now, if black didn't castle here, White would probably be able to play a move like e5, which is a, another typical tower idea because you're trying to blow up the center and open up the e file towards black's king on e8. But the problem is you have given black time to castle kingside. So if black just goes castles here, what can white do? Well, I don't see any natural continuation. I mean, there's one thing playing like Tau, and f4 is a Tau like move, but you really also have to calculate these moves and make sure you're just not going to lose material here. And in this position, black's doing perfectly fine. He can even consider some plan with knight to h7 coming to g5 here, when the knight's actually quite aggressively placed, and just a simple move, rook on a to e8. And black's a pawn up, and his pieces are very harmonious here. So I admire your idea, pawn to f4, but I'm afraid it's not the correct possibility. So I now suggest that you go back and have another go at trying to be Tau.